Hello from Slider and hello from Weaves. What's up folks? In the last vid, I started talking about the string class methods. In this vid, I'm going to continue from where I left off. So let me make another string by saying string s2 over here and I will call it say hello from Weaves and Slidenut as usual, alright? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna compare both of them. You guys remember there's a method called equals that allows you to compare. If I say s dot equals s2 this actually gives me a boolean whether they are both same or not if they are same then it is true otherwise it is false so I'm gonna say boolean result and I'm gonna simply print this result by saying system dot out dot print ln so if I run this you guys are gonna see false the reason being this is this is small h this is capital H there's an sky difference if this was capital you guys will get a true over here which you can see right but now let's make this small and actually talk about something else now in this in this case what I want is, I don't care if there is a capital or a small letter. I simply want to understand if the text is the same. For example, it's hello from Weaves and Slidenet in both the places. It doesn't matter for you, say, what, whether it is capital or small letter. So in that case, what I can do is I can use this method called equals ignore case. Now this ignores whether there are small letters or capital letters. And it merely checks if the words or the meaning is the same. So control S, shift F6. As you guys can see, it says true this time. Now the problem with equals method is, I'm gonna show you there's one nice weird problem. I'm gonna say make a string buffer over here by saying string buffer B is new string buffer. Again, I'll make the same text for the string buffer. All right, so here we have three pieces of text. All of them are the same to our strings and third one is string buffer. That's the only difference, right? So let's see what happens. If I say S dot equals s2 you guys know that they are both the same piece of text so it's going to be true now if i say s dot equals b let me go ahead and run this I, as you guys notice something weird happens it says false remember even though there is hello from weaves and slide node in both the places the problem is one of them is a string object and the other is a string buffer object the dot equals method can compare only similar objects and as such we use another method called content equals that actually checks for the content so in that case i'm going to say s dot content equals and I'm going to use this other one which takes a string buffer. Now this can compare different objects. For example, it can compare a string and a string buffer and can test whether both of them have the same text inside them. So that being said, let me run this. And now if you guys notice, it says true. So this is the use of content equals, which is another method which you guys can use. Now often you want to check if your string starts with something or maybe ends with something, which is uh, done usually in kinds of validation and stuff like that. So in that case, I can have a method that says s dot starts with. I can say uh, hello over here, and I can test whether this string s starts with this uh, word hello. All right. So this will give me a boolean. If it starts with hello, that is the small hello. Other it's gonna give me a true. Otherwise, it's gonna give me false. So I'm gonna make it say boolean result over here, and I'm gonna simply print this result. Now, as if you guys remember. We have capital hello over here and we are testing if this string s starts with small hello which is not the case so we are gonna get a false right so control s shift f6 there you go we get a false now if i say capital hello over here it says true if i remove everything and just put h over here as you guys notice our string s starts with h so this is gonna give true again there you go so this is one method which you can use and also you can also supply a parameter as an offset to indicate at after which position it should start counting for example if you want to see starts from if you guys notice this word this will give you false right because you start with hello but you're checking whether it starts from from but you can actually skip this much and compare from here for that you need to give the position for in my case the position is gonna be 0 1 2 3 4 5 so I'm gonna say starts with from at a position 5 position 6 this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so from start exactly at the sixth position so I can directly test from that place also this is another uh, utility which we have for comparing stuff so this is one of the things I'm gonna talk about the opposite method which is ends with I can also say s dot ends ends with say D if you notice in our string the last character is D and I simply want to check if that is what it is ending with so I'm say run this by saying shift F6 as you guys can see it says true I can also say uh, nerd over here and that's still gonna give me true but if I say something like space and nerd that is not the case so it's gonna be give, me, give me a false right it has to be an exact match over here otherwise it's gonna give me a false this is the ends with method so I hope you guys understood something out of this vid uh, stay tuned for further 
methods on string class if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching catch you later have a nice day